there, Lindsay here, the Frugal Crafter. Today I'm gonna to share with you what I found when I went yard selling this weekend. We have this celebration called Old Home Week in our town every year, and one weekend they do this endless yard sale, and there are like hundreds of yard sales. And um, I went to a couple. I'm not a big yard sailor. I can get to about four or five <laughs> before I'm done, but it was a lot of fun. And a lot of them were actually fundraisers, so that was nice because it, um, Oh, their money goes to a good cause in a lot of them. Uh, so the first thing that I'm going to show you that I bought is this, um, the woman I bought it from said she would put seedlings in there and take it around her yard when she was gardening. I paid 25 cents for this and what I plan on doing is actually putting cans in these, um, uh, these six slots. Actually you could put smaller cans on the end and actually using it to tote around like coloring media that I'm using for a project like if I want to go back or maybe just for like storing colored pencils. I think what I'm going to do though is wash out like uh, cans like metal cans that like beans and tomato sauce and stuff like that comes in because they would come up flush with this and then it's just a little bit better for pencils. But the other thing I thought it'd be cool for would be to put um, like um, condiments in when you're cooking out because napkins could go in here, silverware could go in here in little cups or in here in little cups but then you could put like you know ketchup and mustard and relish and things like that so um, I thought it was neat for 25 cents I thought it was a great bargain and um, and yeah so I got that for for storage Another thing that I picked up was this here, and this is um, brand new actually. There's a little hanging hardware here, and what it is is a paper towel holder, uh, or it could be like a regular towel holder. What I'm gonna do is actually mount this to the edge of, my desk that I work on here is kind of, it's a door, and it's being held up by like a uh, uh, desk hutch on one end, like the part that would go over a computer desk, and then like um, a set of drawers on the other hand. So I'm actually gonna hook this to the edge of the, my um, one of the legs and that way I can put like bottles of stuff up here or whatever and I could put my paper towels or a uh, towel rag or whatever underneath so that was um I don't know it was like make an offer type thing I can't remember I think we gave like 20 bucks for this and a few books and and stuff like that that was a fundraiser too for a kid that was raising money to go to Sweden on a foreign exchange trip so you know it was nice to kick some money that way and then um this the rest of the stuff that's in this bag I actually um I was at a yard sale and I was looking at some rubber stamps and there was a couple Stampin' Up sets that had never been used, I don't think. And she was, oh, if you're into like stamping, have I got something to show you? And she pulled up this big tote. And she's like, go through here, nothing's priced, but, um, uh, but you know, make us an offer or something like that. Or make us an offer on the whole thing. I didn't want the whole thing because I knew there was a lot of stuff I wouldn't use, but I went through and I picked out some stamps and then I gave her the bag. I'm like, I don't know how much this is. And she's like, like, how about 15? I'm like, okay, sounds fair to me. <laughs> so, um, that's what I paid for these, and what I'm going to do is just show you kind of what I got, stamp by stamp, because I like, actually, I have to say, I like older stamps a lot better than the more newer stamps, personally, um, and in fact, the newer stamps that have come out that I like are very similar to ones that I have already, so it's kind of a, um, well, it's good, I guess, because it keeps me from spending money, but um, the sad thing is, it's like, I'm not that excited about a lot of the new things, unless it's stuff that's similar to what I already have, and then I already have it, so what am I going to do? This, I think, is a magenta stamp. Yes, it is magenta. I can kind of tell by the thickness of the wood and the gray rubber. Their stamps are beautiful, and I always find that they are, I have a few magenta stamps, and they are ones that don't go out of style. They're timeless, and that's what I look for when I'm buying stamps. I like unique, interesting things. This one here looks like a personal stamp exchange stamp. I don't see a maker's mark on it, but it does look like a personal stamp exchange stamp to me. Um, but I thought this would be... Oh, it's actually Stampin' Up! Um, but I think this will be nice as backgrounds for Christmas cards. I oh, another thing is I like wood mounted stamps. I know not everybody does, but I do, and I still use my wood mounted stamps. I actually saw a a uh, really shallow shelf that was like about three foot by four foot that had like you know probably one by four pine they're made of. But it's just like ah, uh, I didn't know where I'd put it, so I passed. It was ten dollars. I I probably will regret that, but I'm just like you know I don't know what I'll do with it. Um, now, there was a bunch of these little funky art dolls that um, some of them actually, oh no, I think one fell off of that. Uh, I hope it's in here. I think, yep, that's the one right there. There were a few little funky art dolls that I uh, found. I might, maybe I just ended up doing, oh no, here's two more. Um, I just thought they were really fun. I'll probably unmount them because they're not on the, um, the mounts they came with, or I might just peel off the paper and stamp them. Like, this needs to be trimmed. Uh, so I'll probably just unmount them and put Aliens Tack It Over on the back. 
because I like to I like my stamps very closely trimmed. I'm kind of particular about that. This one's very nicely trimmed. Let's see. The maker is oh, it's Rubber Moon. They're still in business. Um, so I don't know if they're all Rubber Moon or not, but they look like they're this like a similar style. So I think they might be. But I thought these were really fun. I have a few um, like art stamp type art doll stamp characters and from Lost Coast that I really like. So what I'll probably end up doing is I'll mount these and put them. I probably want that one. That one looks too nice. I'll put that one on my stamp shelf because uh, I do have a couple other art dolls stamps on my stamp shelf. But I think I'll store the other ones with my Lost Coast stamps because they're very similar feel um, to those. So I thought those were really fun. They'd be really cute for bookmarks for like girlfriend gifts and stuff. Now this is an interesting one. It looks kind of like a too much fun. No, it's by Limited Edition 1997. This makes a uh, basket. I'm pretty sure. It looks like it makes a picnic basket and like you would stamp it and then you would fold it up and you would attach these parts together. It looks like that's like a, that's probably the bottom of the basket and because you get the tabs and you get a side and then you get another side and the lid um, and there's a tab there. I'm wondering if you curve it. Yeah, you must, you must fold it because look, the bottom is only that wide. So you must have to bend that and then bend over here. Um, so I thought that was really fun. I don't have any stamps like this. I do have some of the interactive stamps from Too Much Fun, but I don't have a basket. And um, I thought that would be that would be a lot of fun. And uh, like I mentioned, I paid 15 for the whole bunch that I'm showing you here. So, you know, a stamp like that, that big, if you wanted to buy something like that new on a wood mount, would cost you probably that much, if not more. I just thought this was really interesting. It looks like it's just like a little seed pod. Um, again, I have some other stamps that are similar wildflower type motifs. That would uh, that would go nicely with this. Plus, it's just kind of a classic design, as you probably noticed. I like the more classic designs. I found some house mouse stamps. Um, I didn't have this, the one with the mouse brushing the frog's teeth. Love my house mouse. I did find a few others. And if I end up with a duplicate, I don't think I have any duplicates, but if I end up with a duplicate stamp, then I've got several friends that really like house mouse, so I can definitely pass those along and uh, and make someone's day. This little, so I love the little sweet single ones because then you can add those in on with other um, images when you're making a design. And there's a little mouse feet, which are really cute to stamp on the envelope, um, to a little trail of feet on the envelope when you're making your card. So um, I don't know, do you guys like house mouse? Let me know in the comments below. Actually, I don't even know if this is a house mouse. It's, it's um, it doesn't say, but I think it is. It looks like a, oh my gosh. Oh, you know what, it's not. It says squirrel. It's must have one of those sets. I actually know it says 99 cents, so it must have been sold individually. It says squirrel, but that, that's going to be a great mouse footprint. But I've had little stamps like this that are like bugs, and um, they were from uh, either Rubber Stampede or All Night Media, I think. Um, anyway, they're great. Uh, let's see, do I have any more house mouse? Oh yeah, this one right here, which I think actually I have this as part of another design. It, but it's bigger and it's the mouse's painting stripes on candy canes, but I don't have the just the mouse and inkwell And actually he has an ink brush like a fountain pen there or a dip pen and the other one He's holding a brush, but it's, it's I think it's that same the same design say a lot of times they re They redo a lot of these house mouse designs um, and different companies have had the like this is Stamparosa I have some house mouse the newer house mouse are from Stampendous because different stamp companies uh, license those designs So I have some from different companies. I adore them. I really adore them Oh, is it a couple more house mouse this one our little micey friends are having a little shower under a watering can I know guys I am usually not into the real cute cutesy stuff, but there's something about the house mouse <laughs> I can't stand it. They're so cute. The little mice are having a little shower under the raspberry bushes. I just love it. <laughs> and um, this little mouse is sitting in a branch. Looks like he's just had a meal. Fat little tummy. So very cute. Um, and that's that's it for the house mouse. Um, I also got this little sprig of leaves. Uh, there were a lot more leaf stamps that I passed on because I have quite a few leaf stamps. I don't have anything like this, so that's why I grabbed this. And I figured, hey, that's going to be a treasure. The rest of those stamps are going to be a treasure for somebody else. I'm not going to just take them to take them because I could get them for a good deal. I'd rather just get ones that I know I'm going to use. And then, although I'm sure that lady would have been happy to <laughs> be gone, be done with it, but oh, you know. Um, but I was pretty, I was pretty thrilled to uh, to find that. A little primitive heart punch. I actually love basic designs like hearts, and I have a regular, like a traditional. Um, symmetrical punch this size of a heart, but I don't have a primitive punch this size. I have a small hand one, and then I've got dies that are larger. So this is actually something I would use a lot because um, a primitive heart, again, doesn't go out of style. You can use it in a lot of different ways. Even though I don't generally do primitive um, style work, 
the the prim hearts I find work really well with a lot of different designs. This I don't think I showed you this one. This uh, star map. It's kind of funky. I don't know. I just like it, so I got it. And then there was a couple Stampin' Up sets that this. These are actually what I saw, and they were marked two dollars a piece. And when I was carrying these around, the lady's like, "Hey, if I got a deal for you," <laughs> and then she showed me the big bin of stuff that she had. Um, these haven't even been used or mounted. But this was actually a stamp set that I wanted when it first came out. This is a 2003 stamp set. I think it's a pocket of fun. I love the pocket. I actually ended up hand carving a pocket stamp because um, because I wanted a pocket so much. And at the time, you know, 2003, um, I didn't. I wasn't doing this for a living. So whenever I bought stamp sets, it was just purely for my hobby. And um, I just I think this was a kind of more expensive set, and I just couldn't justify it. Um, so I didn't buy it, but I was really thrilled to see it because I'd seen so many cute cards, maybe that pocket and little frog peeking out, and, um, yeah, I just think it's, um, I think this is a really versatile set. I love that stamp, and for two dollars, just that stamp alone would have been worth it for me. And then this set here, I've never seen this set before, but it's really sweet. It's called Fabric of Friendship, and, um, this is 1998. This would have been before I was really into stamping. I, I really got into it after, I'd always stamped, I'd have like some personal stamp exchange stamps and I would do some like stamping on clay and stuff, but it wasn't until after I had kid, till my son was born in 2002 that I really got into stamping, but um, it's got a beautiful dress form, I like this style, it is kind of cutesy, um, but I I like it, I think it's I think it's timeless, and I have a lot of other products, a lot of other stamps that would go with this style, they actually are also Stampin' Up! products, but um, I think this is really nice and I could definitely see myself using it because I have a lot of sewing themed uh, stamps. Now I think I will mount these because I, I like wood mounted stamps but um, I do have a binder full of like art supply and sewing themed stamps I could leave them unmounted and do that but I, if I have wood mounted honestly I prefer wood, <laughs> I do prefer wood mounted stamps it just takes so much space so I'm, I'm, I'll be happy to mount these trim them mount them and put them on my stamp shelf hopefully I have room otherwise I'm going to be like really kicking myself that I didn't buy that shelf that I saw and uh and that that does it let's see so $15 25 cents and you know the the paper towel holder that was you know part of a uh, part of a, another another lot I felt pretty good about my purchases and um it was fun and I know I'm definitely going to get $15 worth of fun out of these stamps. So thanks for watching. Did you guys go to any good yard sales lately? Have you found any treasures that you'd like to tell us about? It's kind of fun because you never know what you're going to get. And it gives these supplies new life because otherwise they'd just be sitting in somebody's basement collecting dust, getting damaged, and here they're actually going to be used and they'll be fun. So um, there's my there's my haul, my wicked expensive yard sale haul, dear. Uh, thanks for watching. Please give me a thumbs up if you enjoy silly videos like this. Until next time, happy crafting. Bye.